Hey y'all, it's Kate from Love Story, and I thought since we're, you know, about halfway through October, I'd finally do my October TBR video. Um, I don't t tend to think of TBR lists that often because usually how I determine what book I read next is just whatever is next on the pile, or in my, in my case, the bookshelf. Um, but since this seems to be a trend, I thought I would join in and go over some of the books that I'm hoping to get to um, this month. I have no, since I'm reading currently such big books right now, I have no idea how many of these books I'll actually be able to get to. Maybe I'll get through all of them, maybe I'll only get through some of them or none of them. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, but that's the fun of life, I guess. It's unpredictable. Um, so I have several different TBR list that I take my books from in my reading um, and so I'm gonna go through each of them and kind of explain very quickly what they are and then quickly talk about the books um, that I've added to my October TBR S since we're only half since we're about halfway through October it's a shorter list than it usually is um, but Let's get right into it. So the first pile that I have is actually the bookshelf behind me. This is like my personal bookshelf. So the books on top right next to the Harry Potter books and the Nabucure book are books, my TBR books for this stack. Um, and so the two books from that stack that I took off uh, are The Shining, so Sense by Stephen King. Um, I've only read one Stephen King book so far, and that was Cujo, and I really liked that, even though I don't like horror at all. Um, I'm, I'm a chicken when it comes to that kind of stuff, but Howard is a huge Stephen King fan, so I've told myself I'm going to read more of Stephen King books, and since it's October and Halloween month, I figured this would be a great time to read a classic um, Stephen King book, The Shining. So. That will be my next read once I'm through with, um, I think it's one of the books, I can't remember which book this I'm reading from this one. Um, and the second book from that TBR shelf is The Road by Cormac McCarthy, another classic, and there's actually a movie about this. Uh, of this book out. Um, but this is actually a bibliotherapy book also. Um, this is one of my favorite books from my MFA. I, it's weird, but I just love Cormac McCarthy's writing. It's so easy to understand and yet so complex. Um, it reminds me of Hemingway's writing, simple but complex. There's a lot packed into his writing and so this is like I said this is a bibliotherapy book um, recommended for the ailments of fatherhood like wanting to become a father or um, dealing with being a father and also being long-winded because like I said his writing is sparse yet complex and so Cormac McCarthy kind of teaches you how to punch a lot of stuff into very little text um, so that's that TBR the next one I have is one that I actually intersperse with this TBR. So I switch back and forth between these two TBRs. Um, and so from that one, I'm going to be reading Plain Bad Heroine by Emily M. Danforth. And this is actually supposed to come out this week. Um, I have I got this book from, I think it was a contest that I entered on Goodreads or something. I can't remember. It just showed up in the mail one day and I was excited because who doesn't love surprise books? But it looks like such a fun book and it's such a fun um, design on the front and it has like the spine. I, I did this in a book haul, I think, or a check-in once, but it's, it has this like wraparound here and it says... Um, keep away from impressionable female readers on the front and if you can see the back says from books with smiling heroines chivalrous young men and happy endings oh kind devil deliver me 
and it just looks like such a fun read and also a great read for October and Halloween. So I thought I'd add it into my TBR list for there. And then the next book from that TBR is The Day Diana Died by Christopher Anderson. And one thing that about me is ever since I was a kid and I saw news coverage about Princess Diana's death slash murder, depending on how you feel about it, um, I've become obsessed with Princess Diana and the whole royal family, but especially Princess Diana. And so I saw this book at a, it was for like one dollar, at a used bookstore where you can just pile in a whole bunch of books into a bag for like five bucks, ten bucks I think it was. Um, so I had to get it because of my obsession. Um, so I'm weirdly excited to read this book. Um, let's go, I just wanted to go back to Plain Bad Heroine for a second and make a note that this is um, horror gothic, coming of age, and LGBT. So it checks off a lot of marks on a lot of different reading challenges. So we'll see, it's a big book, but I'm excited to read it because it's something totally different than what I'd read normally. Um, so then the next TBR list is my actual bibliotherapy TBR. So I'm trying to make my way through all the books recommended by the Novel Cure, which is where I learned of bibliotherapy and became obsessed with it. Um, so as you know, right now I'm currently reading Bleak House by Charles Dickens, but the next book is another Dickens classic, Great Expectations. Um, and this is actually recommended for having too much ambition, which if you've read Great Expectations before, you'll totally get. And the next on that bibliotherapy to be CBR list is Crime and Punishment by Fedor Dostoevsky. I can never say his name right. Um, and that is recommended for guilt, obviously. I've read this book before. It's an amazing, fantastic book. Um, and guilt is definitely there. Um, so then I have an audiobook on my TBR, White Rage, The Unspoken Truth of Our Racial Divide by Carol Anderson. And this is a book that it was published in 2016, but became really popular this year with the Black Lives Matter movement and everyone reading books on racial tension and racial history in the US. Um, and so this book studies the history of the racial divide in the US, going all the way back to the Civil War and coming up to 2014. Um, and so I'm I'm told it's a great short book, so I'm looking forward to listening to that audiobook when I'm done with um, the Golden Compass trilogy. And then I have two ebooks that I'm hoping to get to in the remainder of October. Um, the first is Americana by Chimanda Ngozi Adichie. I'm sorry, I probably butchered that name. I'm so sorry. Um, and this is a story of two Nigerians making their way in the U.S. and the U.K., raising universal questions of race and belonging, the overseas experience for the American diaspora in the search for identity and a home. It's a, non it's a novel uh, fiction book, and it, I've heard really great things about it, so I'm excited to get into that after I finish Ilias Grace. And then after that, if I still have time in October, is a self-help book called Atomic Habits, An Easy and Proven Way to Build Good Habits and Break Bad Ones by James Clear. Um, and this is published in 2018, so if I can get it to it this year, that's really, really good for me because usually I'm like five years behind on everything, on books coming out. Um, so this sounds like a good book for me because I'm always trying to break my bad habits that are not good, like um, self-doubt and bad self-talk. So I think this will be a really good book for me. I, d I don't usually read a lot of self-help books, but this one sounded like it would be good for me knowing all of my bad habits that I want to break. I don't like having them. But anyway, so that's my potential TBR list for the rest of October. Um, let me know what you're reading right now, what you hope to get to in October. Let me know some of your favorite fall spooky reads for Halloween. Um, and don't forget to like 
and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll check in with you all again tomorrow have a great monday bye